Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to change your wheel configuration if you want to do that. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hey guys, so this is a pretty easy setting to do. All you need to do is go down to your car button here in the corner, go to service, and then you can see wheel configuration here. So if we hit wheel configuration, it'll let you change your wheels to any of the other stock wheels. So right now I have the aero cap kit on, but let's just say I got, and as you can see, there's a lot of different ones. So let's just say I got 19 inch sport rims, so you can do that, and it'll change it. And it says changing your wheel configuration will impact your car's estimated Estimation of range, tire pressure warning levels, and the car visualization. The car will reboot after pressing confirm. So let's do that. So now as you can see, the tires have changed on the visualization to the 19 inch sports. So the reason you want to do this is obviously for aesthetics if you, you know, like that because it looks kind of funny if you change your rims and it doesn't look right on your screen and in the app. Um, another, you know, obviously other reasons are for range estimation. So, you know, you have 19 inch rims. Those are going to be heavier than 18 inch rims, typically if they're stock. And so that's going to impact your range. So and that'll also change your estimation here. Um, when you have the different types of rims on tire pressure, tire pressure warning levels will change as well. And these are all just settings. Um, obviously because the rims are going to be a different weight and same with the tires, the tires are most likely going to be more heavy if you have 19 inch rims versus 18 inch rims. So they, you know, adjust that as well. And as I mentioned, the car visualization. So those are the, basically the main things why you want to change it. One other thing I want to mention that's not noted on here is the, is your speed. And so basically that is actually calculated from your speed sensor, which is on each wheel. And so, you know, with every tire, every different tire size, the amount of revolutions per mile is going to be different and that's going to impact your speed because your your wheel speed sensor is calculating based on those rotations from the tire and so that could be another thing that they also change on here i would think they actually would have changed that you know adjust it slightly so that way your speed when you're looking at your speed is actually correct based on the size tires that you have based on the rims that you have so that's another another reason you'd want to change your visual visualization so that way your speed up here is accurate because obviously you don't want to have an inaccurate speed reading or else you're going to be you could be speeding when you shouldn't be or the other way around so those are some of the reasons why you'd want to change your visualization just besides um, you know the cool factor so if you thought this video was helpful don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and thanks for watching